Hey guys, it's your favorite girl Zoisha, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, obviously, we are going to be talking wedding in today's video. I know it's been a while since I came back with an update, but a lot has been going on. As you as you guys know, if you guys are subscribers to my channel, uh, you know that I would have traveled out of the country for the holidays and I am obviously planning a wedding, uh, which is coming up very, very soon. So between work, planning, trying to catch up on sleep, there really hasn't been much time. And editing my vlogs from my recent trip, there really hasn't been much time to record and get all these type of content. But we're getting back into the swing of things because time is going and I need to update you guys on what's going on. So the last time we were here, we were discussing the things that you guys would have needed to take care of 12 months before your wedding. Now moving right along, we're going to talk about the things that you need to take place or that you need to check off your list 9 to 11 months before your wedding. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is working with your location to find a caterer and hashing out a menu. Now normally for destination weddings you are given a wedding planner, a destination wedding planner more than likely the venue that you are booking at has somebody there to assist you with the process or the person that you've hired to help you out with your wedding would be assisting you um, every step of the way. So in terms of you having to find your own caterer and that type of stuff, you wouldn't necessarily need to worry about that. Just based off of my um, research and experience, um, so that wouldn't necessarily be too much of an issue for you and as I said most venues nowadays come with um, like their own vendors in terms of caterers people that can assist you with decor all of that type of stuff so most places it literally is like you just pay out one money and you get whatever it is that you need for your day for people like myself who um, come from the country that they are going to be getting married in um, may have their own people whether that be um, family members um, close family friends friends um, that could assist you with certain things like with um, cooking so for me I have an uncle who is a chef um, he cooks for all of our family functions he's used to cooking for major crowds his food tastes listen Everybody know Jamaica already, right? You know, send the food to your school already, right? But you know, you always have that somebody in your family where just bad, pan the cooking, like just bad, where you have to go to every single time. Like when you hear said them a cook, or them go to the which part one day, and them a go cook, you, you're happy, like you taste, but you can't wait, like you barely had the backflip on them. So that is my uncle like if you guys have been rocking with me for a very long time you guys would have seen in my vlogs anytime i go to chilani i always go look for my uncle and my cousin them and yeah i am am i gonna be the one that is cooking for my wedding for the reception now um we are going to have another aspect of the wedding where we need food for and we have another family friend well we can't really say family friend but my husband's family's friend um is also a caterer has their own um food business type thing they have agreed to assist us with um our cocktail hour so they're going to be assisting us with like the finger foods and um the foods that we're going to be serving for that hour before the reception starts so that is the route that we went to because as i said we know people um outside of you know in the wedding industry the big big names that everybody's gonna refer you to and all of that type of stuff that can assist us that their food tastes damn <laughs> good already um and it saves you on your coins because if you are sticking within a budget these are the type of things that you have to do you can go to people in your family you can go to close family friends or friends um or people that know people through people and all of that type of stuff to save money where you you know where it's anywhere where it's possible to save money right so again that is um what we are currently doing or that is what we are doing for our wedding in terms of the menu 
and all of that type of stuff and then in terms of the menu um we we know exactly what it is that we wanted to serve what we wanted to eat all of that type of stuff um it just came down to like figuring out how much of what we need so with our safe with our invitations we sent out like meal options um just to kind of figure out how many people are like vegetarians how many people eat meat how many people eat pork how many you know that type of stuff so yeah those type of things will um determine the type of menu and stuff that you can have and then also what type of like food styled wedding do you want do you want a buffet where you have all different type of stuff and everybody can go up and pick what they want do you want to have a seated dinner do you want to have a three course four course five course dinner like what type of um what type what type of reception or food type setting is it that you want for us everything is going to be formal nobody's going to be getting up to do no buffet no nothing we are going to have a seated dinner there's going to be different courses all of that type of stuff like yo i'm just excited like i am excited like a lot of people in my family um and in my husband to be his family like haven't really gone to a wedding the way that i'm trying to or well yeah we we yeah we are trying to plan it because like i have my ideas or whatever and i bring it to babe he does his research he comes back whether he likes something or not so yeah i can include him in it. <laughs> yeah but like not a, a lot of our family and friends have not been to well not i can't really say my friends because like over here i feel like this is what we're kind of used to but like traditions in jamaica are different from like foreign traditions if that makes any sense like there's just certain elements that they're not necessarily used to um that we're kind of bringing so it's kind of new for everybody and it's exciting and like everybody is kind of really looking forward to it because a lot of people again as i said haven't really gone to a wedding the way that my husband to be and i are putting on ours right so even with like um having like a sit down type dinner style wedding like a lot of people aren't used to that you know what i'm saying or having a cocktail hour it's like what is that you know like they're not used to those type of things so it's really exciting um that this will be like a first for a lot of people especially like me too like even like my mom she's never really been to weddings so everything is like new and it's like you know she's the mother of the bride so it's exciting it's 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 exciting um the next thing that you need to do is register for gifts and add your registries to your wedding website now okay for us um we don't necessarily have a registry just because bay lives in jamaica i live in canada i'm not gonna travel back with gifts um it doesn't really make any sense and also i feel like I don't really want to buy anything or make any major purchases or anything like that without my husband here because whether I go to Jamaica to live or whether he comes to Canada to live like wherever it is that we end up living um, I feel like we both want to be included in a lot of things so we just asked for monetary gifts like it was easier we can use that to start life we can or you know put it towards something add it to our like our bank account whatever the case may be to save whatever but um that's what we decided to do in terms of that i did make a registry um which i will be going into more detail about later on but i did make a registry um for a specific purpose and again as i said i will talk about it later on but there's different places that you can go to make a registry amazon um what was i gonna say here we have home sense um we have i want to keep saying bath and, not bath and body works but oh bed bath and beyond um i think like in the states you have like target you have you have different places that you can go to to make a registry if that applies to you for instance if both you and your spouse live already together or live in the same city um and are planning on moving in at a later date you know you guys that the whole registry thing might benefit you guys a little bit more because you guys know this is where you guys will be settling later on that type of stuff so do what works best for you um you may want to make a registry for other things like your personal self maybe for like your bridal shower um you may want to make a registry like you know with lingerie or different kind of stuff you may need for going on your vacation like i've seen like luggage tags i've seen like you know um bridal wear like 
tote bags, um, your 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 robe that you're gonna use to get dressed in the morning of your wedding. Those type of stuff if you wanna make a registry for, for like yourself, by all means, you can definitely do that because that can, as, again, as I said, be used at your bridal shower and stuff like that for your other family and friends to get you stuff ready for your destination wedding. But again, for us, we didn't need the registry. It didn't really make sense to have one at this time. As I said, it, it just made sense to go the monetary way, which is, not bad um or anything like that it, it just made more sense in our case right um and then for the wedding website uh because i don't see anywhere here where it mentioned anything in regards to that but i feel like nowadays everybody has access to the internet everybody um rather look at stuff or keep stuff like on their phone or like a tablet or their computer or stuff like that so going back to like or did we come to that yet no we didn't but just a little tip your wedding website you can put all the information there where the venue is going to be what time the ceremony starts the reception directions everything can go on the wedding website so if you're trying to save money you can nix out wedding invitations and just make a wedding website and send everybody over to your wedding website for all the details pertaining to your wedding and the good thing about it is that you don't have to delete it they can go back to the wedding website a hundred times if they wish to to review the information without sending people an invitation that they're gonna look at one time and then fling down you know what I'm saying like there's all these different types of invitation ideas and all of that type of stuff but really when you think about it when you get a wedding invitation do you keep it no like or you may keep it in like a drawer but are you really ever going to revisit it and look back at it like maybe when you're cleaning you come across it and you're like oh look at the time when so and so but it's not something that you're going to keep and looking or whatever we did invitations we and en we ended up not even sending out more than half of them and um we only really sent it to like our parents um, or people that we felt like like really close family members that we felt like would want to actually physically have an invitation but everybody else we sent them the wedding link and the password to the site and they were just as pleased like they were able to RSVP that way it was so much simpler all my RSVPs came to my email it was easy to keep it in a folder and I have the app on my phone I can go back and look at it anytime that I want to it was just so much easier and organized so take that tip from me so you don't spend money on invitations ending up wasting them because again as I said most people they're, they're just gonna look at it one time fling it down and that's about it that's about it so yeah um, the and then the last thing is asking your bridesmaids and groomsmen to be in your wedding party this we did um, if you were watching the previous videos you would have seen the video where I did where I showed you guys the bridesmaids and groomsmen proposals um, that is initially how we had asked them we they our groomsmen and bridesmaids already knew who they were gonna be so it was more of like a thank you gift or an informal asking of will you take part in the wedding but um yeah if you haven't seen it I'll put the card up here where you guys can click I did a video for both the groomsmen and the bridesmaids for you guys to see what we gifted them with um, but yeah that was it for the 9 to 11 months before uh, I hope you guys found this video informative if you have any questions um, or if you would like me to elaborate on anything else you can leave a comment down below back going back to the wedding websites though um, a few of the I think two ones that I know for sure I think is Shutterfly that you can make wedding websites on and then the knot the knot is free it's super easy they have so many different themes that you can use okay there's a few okay there's a few but the only three wedding websites that I've really gone to use during my journey were the knot wedding wire and what was the last one minted um the thing with minted is a really good one because like they have like wedding websites that match like wedding invitations save the dates all of that stuff so if you want to stick within the theme and make everything look a little bit more uniform and organized minted is a really good one they're just a little bit more on the expensive side um but this is their wedding websites are free if i'm not mistaken let me double check 
yeah free the knot again free and you can use them for so many other things you can do your budget you can do um they they link things to other things as well like they have other apps that you can have your guests download so that they can take pictures of any of the events that you're having whether that be your bridal shower the wedding itself and they all upload to the site your wedding website and all of that type of stuff so instead of asking people to send you your pictures everything will just be uploaded to it um so cool um and then wedding wire again i've just used it more so to like find vendors in my area of the place that i'm getting married in um but they also offer free wedding websites as well so if you're looking for a free wedding website that is easy to use number one for me i would recommend the knot and then those are the other two that i would recommend for you so yeah if you have any other questions please feel free to leave them down below i will definitely be in the comments answering them um and yeah i will see you guys in my next video we're getting closer we're getting closer okay okay if you are new please hit the subscribe button if you are returning hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video from me share the video you never know who this may help and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching bye